Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you how to convert a car generator into a 220 volt generator. This is a generator removed from a scrap car. The output voltage of this generator is 24 volts. The first step in our modification is to disassemble the generator. First, remove the generator pulley and then start to disassemble the motor housing screws. There are a total of four screws. After the screws are removed, take a blade and gently change the motor housing. After the housing is removed, we take out the motor rotor. You can see that the motor's nail coil is all dusty. It seems that this motor has been used for many years, but its coil is intact and has not burned out. This is the motor rotor. You can see that the rotor of the car generator is different from the rotor of an ordinary motor. The iron core on it is triangular and has grooves on it. Now we need to modify the rotor. First, we need to prepare a spiral square magnet. You can see that the suction force of this magnet is very strong. After the magnet is ready, we put the magnet into the groove of the rotor. There are about four magnets in one groove. After the magnet is placed, use hot melt glue to fix it. Just place it in sequence and fill all the grooves with magnets. Now all the magnets are placed. After the magnets are installed, we reinstall the rotor into the electronic coil of the motor and then turn it by hand to see if there is any jamming when the rotor rotates. After confirming that there is no problem, we install the outer casing of the motor and fix the outer casing with screws. Finally, install a toothed pulley for the motor. Now the generator is modified. After the generator is made, we prepare a wooden base plate. First, apply hot melt glue on the wooden base plate and then put the generator fix it on the wooden base plate and then install a power strip next to the motor for easy use. After the power strip is installed, we weld the two power wires of the power strip to the output end of the generator so that the electricity generated by the generator can power the power strip. After the power strip is installed, we prepare a 9-volt DC small motor. This small motor is used to provide kinetic energy to the generator. Install the small motor next to the generator and connect the pulleys together with a belt. Then use hot melt glue to fix the small motor to the wooden base plate. Then we prepare two 9-volt batteries and fix the batteries on the wooden base plate. After fixing them, install a power switch on top of the battery. After turning on the switch, the battery can power the small motor. The electricity of the two batteries is connected in parallel, which can increase the battery power and allow the small motor to run for a longer time. Now the whole of the generator is now finished. Let's turn on the switch and see if the socket has a 220 volt voltage output. After the switch is turned on, the motor starts to run quickly and the generator has voltage output. Let's find three high power idiot bulbs and plug the bulbs into the sockets to see if they can light up. After plugging them into the socket strip, you can clearly see that the three bulbs are instantly lit up and the brightness is very stable without any sense of mutual deletion. This shows that the electricity generated by the generator is still sufficient. Let's use a multimeter to test the voltage output of the socket. You can see that the voltage is almost stable at around 220 volts. What do you think of this generator? It can convert DC into AC to power the bulbs without an inverter. Okay, this video is shared with you here. If you like it, please click to follow and forward it. See you next time.